What's up guys, and it's time to take a full look at the One UI update for the Galaxy Note 8. The Galaxy Note 8 is still one of the best Samsung phones you can buy. It has a gorgeous display. Design-wise, it is very similar to the Galaxy Note 9, so a lot of people didn't actually upgrade to the Note 9. They're still holding on to the Note 8, and you have a good news because One UI is here to make this old bad boy a new bad boy. The first question that you might be thinking is if the Note 8 is getting all the features like the flagship phones, like the current flagship phones, like the S9 Plus. So the answer to that question is yes, it is getting all the features of the One UI. No compromises, it is getting the best treatment. So as I've talked about before, One UI update brings the true one-handed experience to your tall and big Sammy phone. So compared to your older Samsung Experience UI, now with the One UI, you can do a lot of stuff with just one hand. Quick example for that is the notification panel or the quick toggle. So it doesn't really help that much to reach with one hand. But now thanks to One UI, you can quickly reach all the top quick toggles or your notifications without any problem with just two swipes. So pretty much that is the theme of this update. And it's not just with the quick toggle, Samsung has updated pretty much all the stock application for this one-handed experience. So just a quick example with the phone dialer, now you have the keypad, the recent, your contacts, your places down here for that easier access. Same thing with the messaging application. If we switch to the camera, you get all your modes down here compared to this older look which had everything all the way on the top. And this UI looks very similar to the stock camera UI of the Pixel 3. Pretty much everything is in the reach of your one thumb. So it's really easy now. Because of all these changes, Samsung took a lot of time to release this 9.0 Pi update. And honestly, it is worth it. So with all the One UI perks, you also get the dedicated night theme with your phone. So with just one tap you can switch between night mode and your normal basic mode so night mode is great because it will definitely conserve more battery as this is an AMOLED panel so you can expect better battery life on your Galaxy Note 8 so if you turn on the night mode not only your quick toggles are changed but all of your stock Samsung applications are changed to the black UI as well and it helps a lot if you look at the settings application this also been changed a lot with every application it just expands goes all the way down so you can reach the top option without any problem and you can see we have the night mode option in the display area and if you go in you can actually turn it on as scheduled for a specific time so this is also a nice feature uh, if we go back and check out another here which is called as navigation bar where you will see the full screen gesture for the Galaxy Note 8. So with the gestures on, if you use apps like Instagram, you're gonna get a full immersive, full screen experience, and uh, you don't have to double tap to bring the nav bar keys if you wanna go back. You can just quickly swipe from here to access the multitasking tray, uh, or you can actually go uh, back to whatever your screen was by swiping all the way from here. So it's very easy to learn. You get the app suggestion down here, and you can also see we have the close all key, which is is notice not at the end of the applications like we have on the Pixel phone. Instead, Samsung has placed it right here in the middle so you can easily access without any problem. Also, Samsung sort out the advanced features a lot better compared to the previous version. So now all the features that are related to the motion and gestures, they are placed in a separate tab. So you have all your features like lift to wake up, which is actually one of my favorites. So now if I just pick my Note 8 up, it shows me the lock screen and some other features such as smart stay, smart alert, uh, easy mute. And if you want a little bit faster experience with your Galaxy Note 8, if you feel like your Note 8 is getting slow, by the way, even after a year, my Note 8 is still uh, performing really nice. If you guys want to see a speed test, let me know. But if you want to make it even faster, you can turn on something called reduced animations. And uh, this will reduce the animations a little bit when the apps are closed and launched. So it doesn't really get rid of the animations because that will result in like an ugly experience in my opinion, but it does make them down a little bit to make it more snappy. So overall, Note 8 is still kicking ass. It's still a pretty good fast phone. I got tons of applications installed. Still, I'm getting a really good experience. Again, let me know if you want to see a speed test video. And also, Samsung has added the exact camera features like the flagship phone. So now 
you also get the screen optimizer with the old Galaxy Note 8, which will use the AI functions to uh, optimize the scene. So as you can see, the scene optimizer option is here uh, with the Note 8's camera. So if you want your photos to look a bit enhanced, then you can turn it on. Uh, it's something that is here with the Galaxy S9 Plus. As you can see, we have this icon. So this also works well uh, with the Note 8. So this is something that I was thinking that Samsung might not do it, but they actually did implement the screen optimizer for the Note 8. So you will see this on pretty much all the Samsung phone, in my opinion. Samsung will integrate this on all their on all of their Samsung on all the Samsung phones, including the mid-ranger. So just a quick look at the camera settings. Again, one UI look, it just expands, and I just really, really like it. And lastly, I wanna quickly talk about the battery life experience. So far, I've seen improvement with the Note 8 now. I've been almost able to get a one day of usage out of this phone, thanks to the full usage of the night mode. Um, promising you that you will definitely going to see a battery difference uh, with this update. Now, for those of you who are interested in the numbers, these were the benchmark scores before the One UI update, and these are the scores that I'm getting now. So we have improvement in the multi-core score as well as the improvement in the single core score. So really awesome thing for the older Galaxy Note 8. And I think the upgrade uh, will improve the performance on uh, the Galaxy S8 family as well. So it will, so it's, gonna be, so it's gonna be beneficial to the older phones more performance wise compared to the newer phones that we have right now. So that's all we have on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with one UI update. I do wanna point out that this is right now the almost finished build for the Qualcomm variant. You can actually install it by checking out the link down below in the description from XDA. But I will honestly recommend to wait because right now the update is around the corner for the Exynos and Qualcomm Note 8 variants as well as for the S8 and S8 Plus family. So I will be taking a look at that when it gets rolled out but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like also subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out